My mother-in-law is a, a person of routine. She was doing things that were so out of her routine and we found it surprising and when asked when we asked her about it she was very vague in her responses and um, not forthcoming at all so those were the first red flags. Uh, she received a call and the call was supposedly from a lawyer in Peru who had been appointed by the American Embassy. He was calling her because her grandson um, had gone down to Peru, this was the story, had gone down to Peru for a wedding, to be in a wedding, um, and that while celebrating there had been driving under the influence or there was open alcohol in the car and hit a four-year-old child and killed the child. If she sent money, uh, he would not be spending 10 years in a Peruvian prison. They could work on it. In talking with her, they received details. I think the first thing is they said, do you have a grandson? And she said, oh, and she gave, uh, you know, my son's name. Are you talking about Will? And of course, so now they know that she has a grandson named Will. And so they put what whom we call fake, <laughs> her fake grandson on the phone, supposedly. And she believed it. She said it sounded just like his voice. The supposed attorney also told her that there was a gag order and that if she told anyone, it would severely compromise the situation. Even if I had heard of the grandma scam, I never, ever, ever would have thought my mother-in-law would have believed it or bought it, ever. If someone who you don't know is saying to you, don't tell anyone, even though they have this credibility that they're just telling you, don't do that. We're, we're kind of hesitant to think we don't want to um, insult our older parents, but it's not because it happens. So to talk about it and give them what the various scams are. So to be very, very um, selective in who you talk to on the phone and certainly any information you give. It's, it's very, very upsetting because it's someone who's taking a person um, not only at a vulnerable time of life, but at the most vulnerable emotional part where they can be.